Okay, so let's go ahead and choose our statistics. On the top bar menu, click simulation and select choose individual statistics. Expand the global statistics hierarchy and expand Ethernet and click the delay box where delay is the end-to-end -end of all packets to all workstations in the network. Go ahead and expand HTTP and select traffic received packets per second and traffic sent packets per second where HTTP is the web browsing traffic application to all work stations in the network. So go ahead and click OK. Now we are ready to duplicate our scenario. We are going to expand and upgrade our network into two additional scenarios. For our second scenario, we are going to add five workstations in every department. On the top menu, click Scenarios and click Duplicate Scenario. Edit the scenario name to 10 Mbps 30 and then click OK. So the easiest way to add the same workstations is to copy and paste. But before doing that, let us change the first floor 16 port switch to a 32 port switch since we need to accommodate 20 workstations. So right click on the first floor switch and click edit attributes. Then let us change the value of model to Ethernet 32 switch and click OK. Also, please note that we use the default settings of the switch packet service rate in all scenarios. To check that, right click into one of the switches and then click edit attributes. Expand bridge parameters. The default packet service rate in packets per second value is 500,000. This means that the switching speed will forward 500,000 frames per second. Go ahead and close the window. Okay, so click into the blank workspace to make sure that no object is selected. Now hold your shift key and click billing 1 through billing 5 to select the billing workstations and press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste. So drag the copied workstations to the right side of the blank workspace. Then a link to connect all workstations will show up. Simply click the first floor switch to connect all the workstations. Click the empty workspace to make sure that no is selected. And we're going to repeat the same steps to add five sales workstations. Go ahead and press the shift key and select the sales workstations. Then press C to copy and then press V to paste. And then, then drag the copied sales workstations on the left side. Then connect the links to the first floor switch. Click into the blank workspace to make sure that no object is selected again. Now click to select one of the tech workstations and then press Ctrl C to copy and then press Ctrl V to paste. So drag each copied tech workstations and connect it to, to the second floor switch. So let us do that until we have 10 workstations in the second floor network. Okay. So did you notice that we do not need to rename the copied workstations? Also we do not need to set the application profiles because the configurations were copied as well. So now let us duplicate our second scenario. This time we are changing the speed of the links to 100 base T or fast Ethernet. So click scenarios and click duplicate scenario. Edit the scenario name to 100 Mbps underscore 30, then click OK. 
Now point your mouse pointer into one of the 10 basty links, then right click on it, click select similar links. Now please right click on one of the 10 basty links and click edit attributes. In the window that pops up, change the value of the model to 100 base T. Then check the box next to apply changes to selected objects. And that way we're going to change all the links in our network. Then proceed on clicking OK. Click into the blank workspace again. And just to make sure that we have 100 base T links, just point your mouse pointer into one of the links and shows there on data rate that it's 100 million. So we have now created our third scenario. Press Ctrl S to save it.